When you put your all into sound quality, Moondrop Sparks happens. Easily, it sounds better than any other earbuds I've reviewed. But a great True Wireless earbuds is more than just about sound quality. It's about endurance, ease of use, connectivity, or even mic quality. And that last part actually is barely a passing mark here. But oh, I said it twice. I'll tell you why I still love it and why I want you to try it out yourself. Hit the thumbs up if you're excited and let's get into the video right now. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and welcome to my review of the Moondrop Sparks. Now, I have not been this excited for a true wireless earbuds in a very long time. Maybe it's because of the Moondrop name or the totally unique design. You see the translucent build, the purple and pink color options. Full disclosure is in the description, but I want you to know that you are getting my own honest opinion. If you want to buy these earbuds, it would help me and the channel if you use the affiliate links too. So please use that, thank you very much, and let's get started with the most important thing, and this time it really is the most important thing, the sound quality. So up until this moment, even my top performers like the Field T1 Pro or the Soundpeats H1 color the sound in some way. Soundpeats is the most obvious one here. It has a signature of boosting the bass considerably, giving you a satisfying sub-bass rumble while balancing that with a healthy amount of upper mid so you never complain about the clarity and detail. But one thing for sure is, Soundpeats tries to avoid going all out in a treble so you don't get that piercing kind of sound. In the case of Feel T1 series, both the light and Pro sounds more balanced than the Soundpeats. You'll hear the bass is turned down in exchange for a boost in treble. This means you get even more clarity and airiness in the sound, but this also means they could sound piercing at times. Sound stage and separation is about on par with the H1, though as I've said before, I think the T1 Pro here sounds slightly better than the T1 Lite, especially if you put it to bass or treble EQ, the Pro really has a more rumbly bass or a clearer high, whereas the T1 Lite just sounds forced and artificial. But we all know that already. So what about the Moondrop Sparks? Well, this thing takes that feel sound up another level. It creates an even larger soundstage, it's got better spacing between instruments, better sense of direction, and most importantly, it sounds way more natural from the bass all the way up to treble. So you no longer feel like only a specific frequency is boosted, there's not even a hint of boomy bass or a thin part of treble, everything just sounds so seamless and natural. That's what I got when listening to Enter Sandman by Metallica. The Soundpeats H1 gives you a lot of sub bass, while the Field T1 Pro gives you a good amount of bass kick with an even more boost in the upper mid to treble frequencies. This puts a lot of attention to hi-hats that you can hear on the left eye level here and cymbal crashes at the right eye level, but that's about as far as these two go in terms of soundstage. The vocals, the guitar, the bass, the snare hits all felt like grouped together in the center. Now, with the Moondrop Sparks, you hear the hi-hats and cymbals pulled away to the left and right tempo. It's also not as prominent, which gives space for the other instruments to shine, like the guitar and bass that's playing at the back of your head, snare hits a bit more to the front with vocals above it, everything just suddenly falls into place, and with it, my heart too. So unless you're looking for a boosted bass response, no doubt the Sparks is going to be the winner here. Anyway, before we move on to the next song, I want to tell you that my left side T1 Pro suddenly died. So moving forward, I'll be using the Field T1 Lite instead. Just keep in mind that the Pro sounds a bit better, especially in the treble. But let's move on and compare Brave Shine by Aimer. Now, this is a song that I've known for a very, very long time, but with the Sparks, I still found new subtleties that I've never really paid attention to before. I guess a big part of it is because the bass isn't as boosted anymore, the sound of strumming guitar with a pick, or the distorted guitar fading in, you know, that mm, are surfaced without you even paying much attention or looking specifically just for it. It's so much fun listening to these small details with the Moondrop Sparks, and honestly, the One More Confobuds Pro sounds dull in comparison, and the Field T1 
one light here sounds a bit pointy, like only a part of the treble is boosted and it's too much and the bass isn't as defined as well. Nothing gets close to touching the spacious and clear sound that you get from the Sparks here. As far as volume goes, the Sparks is about one click less loud than the Field T1 Pro or Soundbeats H1, so the Field T1 Lite here is still even louder. But keep in mind, I'm using sound check here, which normalizes my volume. So what you see right here is actually about 60% of what the earbuds can do. So don't worry about it, you still have a lot of headroom, these earbuds go loud and also, Akmu sounds fantastic on any of these earbuds here. Okay, talking about bass response, you might think that the Sparks don't have what it takes because of its focus on being natural. Well, comparing Stay By Z, I feel like the Sparks actually produces a bit more rumble than the One More Comfo Buds Pro. And it's almost the same as feel or normal EQ, so it's good, but nothing that you would call a bass heavy sound. The Soundbeats H1 or Feel CC Pro are still going to win in this genre, but you knew that already, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it for the sound quality part. I hope it gives you a good idea of how the Moondrop Spark sounds. And if you appreciate the way I do these reviews, please subscribe to the channel. I bet you won't be disappointed. And we're going to talk about another big charm of the Sparks and that is the design. So just looking at the pictures, you can already feel how much attention and love they've put onto this. From the material choice, the colors, the character designs on the box, this truly is a unique design. And I guess to say I love it is an understatement. It's just so so, so nice. Starting with the charging case, the translucent and soft to touch plastics here are not only a pleasure to hold, but also gives a peek at what's going on inside. Then you have things like the three LED battery indicator, an NFC tag at the back, so you can just tap your Android phone right here and pair to the buds really quickly. Then there's the USB-C port right here also, even though it's not in the center, but it's okay. <laughs> Looking at it closely might get you thinking though why there is so much empty space in the center. The answer is, they designed this case to take whatever ear tips you throw at it. Big or small, foam or silicone, even Moondrop themselves give you a heck ton of ear tips in a box. So I'd like to remind you again, take some time and really try out the different ear tips so that you would get the best sound out of the earbuds and I assure you, it will be worth it. This case can take it as well. Moving on to the earbuds now, the design is again, different depending on your color choices. The material used is the same soft touch matte translucent plastic. <laughs> you can also see the magnet inside, the driver, the big cell battery, even the touch sensor is visible when this thing lit up. And speaking of the light inside here, it shines as a confirmation of a tap control or if there's an incoming phone call, it blinks. But I notice a bug where the lights won't stop blinking. The fix is easy, you just put it back to the case and take it out again Again, and it's nothing a firmware update couldn't fix, but I gotta tell you anyway. As far as battery life is concerned, the earbuds has 50 mAh battery with 700 mAh backup in the case. And what this means is you don't have to worry about battery. I've tested the earbuds and confirmed that they indeed reach eight hours of playtime, no sweat, although it reports battery in 10% drops and it's the kind that goes slowly to 50 and then quickly to zero. But with the case, you still would see up to two weeks of total use and overall it's great in that aspect. As for how the earbuds fit in my ear, I can say the IEM shape along with the many ear tips included allowed me to get a perfect fit. And I mean it, it's the kind that doesn't loosen up when I grin or yawn, even the sound is still full. But a fun fact for you, I use a different size ear tips for my left ear and right ear. So don't be afraid to try different combinations of ear tips. Also one more thing, the size of this earbud is quite big, but it's not unheard of since it's similar to the Soundpeats True Engine 3 SE or H1. So yeah, it will protrude quite a lot even my big ear, so do keep that in mind if you have smaller ears. The driver is protected by metal mesh, so you could clean it without worry. And I think the only downside here is the absence of IP rating. So you don't know how resistant this is to water. What I can tell you is I've splashed some water when I was in the bathroom, so far, nothing happened. I didn't really take it to shower, it's just like a quick splash. And in my opinion, small stuff like sweats during workout is not going to be an issue. Just don't take it to shower, like full on shower or a heavy rain. And this definitely won't survive if you left it in a washing machine. Anyway, let's talk about the controls now. 
By default, they are sadly your basic Halo kind of control. So double tap to play or pause, triple tap to skip tracks, and hold two seconds for voice assistant. You can even hold both earbuds to put it to pairing mode. I found the touch sensor to be reliable and responsive, but there's no volume control, which I would want from something about 50 bucks. All hope is not lost though, since in the latest Moondrop Link 1.1 update, it's written there that we can set our own custom controls. Speaking of the Moondrop Link app, I wanted to try it out, but I couldn't find the updated app in the Play Store. They recommended me to scan the QR code you get in the box, but unfortunately, trying to install that APK would return an error in my phone. So this means I can't try out the Moondrop Link app. But what I can tell you is the company listens and they are going to make the app for both Android and iOS. So reach out to them, mention them in Twitter, go send an email, tell them that you want volume controls and hopefully they will add it in a future firmware update if they haven't already. Finally, I wanna to touch on the $5 protective case here, which I think looks amazing. It's got its own magnet on the lid and the fall leather matches the color of your sparks. Even the battery indicator is built with this case in mind, but it's not perfect because the design prevents me from opening the lid fully. And if you try to open it further, the upper part just detaches way too easily. This also adds a significant bulk to the size, so you won't be pocketing this anymore. Instead, you'll be holding it. And so far, I'm fine with that because this is quite a looker. Okay, I've said everything I have to say. Now it is time to check out the latency test and the microphone test right now. All right, so welcome to the call test, everyone. Right now, you are listening through the Moondrop Sparks, and I'm in an indoor setting where nothing is going on right now. The room is practically silent, and this is the best case scenario that you'd get from the Moondrop Sparks. We'll go outside and test out how it deals with the noises from streets and wind. So let's check out the outdoor mic test right now. All right, so here we are now on the Moondrop Sparks. What do you think of the sound quality? I'm not really that surprised if this doesn't perform very well but this is the sound quality first earbud so at least it's functional when you're taking phone calls once in a while so yeah this is the microphone test again with a lot of cars passing by in the background and there's some wind too and we're gonna compare this to the airpods pro real quick so let's check it out all right so here we are now on the airpods pro and, and the wind is blowing a little bit stronger now but there is less cars in the background, I guess. But anyway, what do you think of the sound quality? You can hear the difference between the Moondrop Sparks and this one. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the mic test. Let's get back to the video right now. So you heard it yourself. The biggest catch with the Sparks is gonna be the microphone quality. If you're indoors, it might be serviceable, but forget it if you're outside. Also, I didn't talk much about the QCC3040 chip, but it's great. You can use any side as you wish. Connectivity is mostly solid, except for the very first time you hit the play button, I noticed one earbud may be a little bit delayed, but it's not a big deal because most importantly, this might be the only true wireless earbuds out there worthy of the higher res aptex adaptive codec. 
Anyway, let's conclude the video. This is the first True Wireless Earbuds Moondrop has ever made and I'm already in love. The sound tuning, the case design, the ear tip selection, everything is made to give you the best sound quality. Add on top of that, one of the most cute and unique design, you just got yourself an instant winner. And don't forget the app support will be a nice plus too, even though you have to wait for it. So what do you think of the Moondrop Spark? Let me know if you're clicking that buy button right, right now, or if you got your hands on this already, let me know what do you think. I would love to talk with you guys down in the comments below or even in my Twitter or Instagram. I always try to be active there. Again, don't forget to use the affiliate links to help me support the channel and I hope this video helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So moving forward, in my opinion, small stuff like sweat during workout, 